The way we do it at Rommet with our bracelet is by uh, ensuring that only a certified person or a trusted person can look at that data. So we're not spreading it over the internet. We're not spreading it through a cloud service. We're keeping it uh, local and we're keeping it only accessible through a person which uh, can be trusted with that data. Can we talk about compliance? Because when it comes to your technology, the bracelets that are rolled out across industrial sites, it requires employees to wear those devices. When it comes to smartphones, they're likely to be the device where we see much of the contract, uh, contact tracing rolled out. It does require an opt-in type of scenario. How concerned are you that people will just simply not agree to this technology, whether it's in the workplace or whether it's around the house and, and leisure facilities? Yeah, so first and foremost, we created this technology not just the last three weeks. We've been working on this technology for about a year and a half, and we've created it to increase safety and security for workers, typically in port environments, in logistical chains, and so on. Keeping that in mind, people will want to use our technology because they feel much safer um, in situations like man down, situations like, uh, like, like uh, dangerous situations between people and vehicles in the same environments and so on. So keeping that in mind, we believe that using a bracelet, ensuring first and foremost social distancing to, keep, to get people back to work and then using that same bracelet with updated features and functionality to keep them safe over time is something we see as very positive. And in all the research we've done so far, uh, we see a, a big uh, willingness to actually use this technology versus, for example, smartphones, which are in most cases in industrial sites not allowed in the first place.